The Kimray Gen 3 Liquid Level Controller is a simple, versatile solution that delivers precise level control. In this video, we'll go over how to easily configure, set up, and operate the Gen 3. We'll cover how to switch the mount orientation, convert between snap and throttle, change from direct to indirect acting mode, and adjust the span and top level. The Gen 3 includes a 1 8 inch hex key for the pilot and lever fasteners, and it can be conveniently stored inside the enclosure as shown here. In addition to this tool, you will also need the following. You can purchase the Gen 3 configured for either left or right mount. As a reminder, left mount means the unit is mounted on the left side of the vessel. For back mount applications, we recommend using a left mount because of the latch location. To switch between left and right mount, start by removing the spring adjustment assembly with an adjustable wrench. Unthread the adjusting knob completely. Then remove the spring and upper spring plate. Then remove the lower spring plate. Then remove the 1 half inch NPT plug. Use the included hex key to loosen the set screw at the bottom of the torque lever and slide it off the shaft. Remove the mount screws with a 9 16 inch socket. Then rotate the mount 180 degrees. Reinstall the mount screws with thread locker. Then reinstall the torque lever and tighten the set screw. The spring adjustment assembly always goes on the same side as the displacer. and install the 1 half inch NPT plug on the other side. The pilot lever should be mounted on either the left or right side depending on the operation, whether it will be operating in snap or throttle mode and whether it's going to be direct or indirect acting. Use this simple table to determine which side of the unit the pilot lever should be on. This information is also available on the inside cover of the unit. As an example, if the desired mode is throttle and direct acting, you would want to mount the pilot lever on the same side as the spring. Change the location of the pilot lever as needed by simply removing the screw and moving the pilot lever to the other side. The sensitivity knob should be oriented so that it faces outward toward the operator. Ensure that the protrusion is facing up so it contacts the pilot actuator pin. The displacer can be assembled in either vertical or horizontal orientation. To install vertically, apply thread locker to the male threads on the displacer arm and simply attach the displacer assembly to the displacer arm. For horizontal orientation, remove the rod assembly from the displacer Apply thread locker to the male threads on the arm and connect the displacer directly onto it. Now the Gen 3 can be connected to the vessel. Before beginning installation, make sure all pressure is released from the vessel and confirm there is no pressure in supply gas or instrument air lines. For NPT connections, apply thread tape or sealant to the threads of the mount. Tighten sufficiently to seal the threads using a wrench on the flats of the mounting piece. Orient the enclosure vertically with a pilot on top when finished. Do not use a wrench on the enclosure to tighten the connection. Remove all plastic plugs from the ports before beginning. 
All the following connections and gauges must be sealed with thread tape or sealant before installation. For throttle mode, use any of the three ports labeled T to connect the supply gas filter and the supply line. Connect the pressure gauge to one of the remaining T ports. Install a quarter inch NPT socket plug into the one remaining T port. In throttle mode, the ports labeled S should be used for vent. For snap mode, follow the same procedure except make supply connections to the snap ports labeled S and make vent connections to the ports labeled T. Install the appropriate quarter inch NPT socket plugs or vent plug in the remaining ports. Last, connect the output line and pressure gauge to the two ports labeled out. Ideally, the gauge should be oriented so that it's easy for the user to see when making adjustments. Now you're ready to turn on the supply gas and calibrate the unit. Calibrate the set point with no liquid on the displacer. For throttle mode and a fail closed valve, with the output at zero PSI, turn the set point adjustment knob counterclockwise to produce about 10 PSI. Then turn clockwise and stop once the output reaches zero. For throttle mode and a fail open valve, with the output at zero PSI, turn the set point adjustment knob clockwise until full output pressure is produced. For snap mode and a fail closed valve, with the output at zero, turn the set point adjustment knob counterclockwise to snap on, producing the full output pressure. Then turn the knob clockwise and stop once the output reaches zero. For snap mode in a fail open valve, at full output pressure, turn the adjustment knob counterclockwise to snap off where the output drops to zero. Then turn the knob clockwise until full output pressure is reached. For snap mode, start with the sensitivity fulcrum at the inwardmost hash mark. This should yield the smallest span. Adjust the fulcrum outward as needed until the desired span is reached. For throttle mode, start with the sensitivity fulcrum at the center hash mark of the pilot lever. If it's holding the desired span, no further adjustments are needed. If it isn't, move the sensitivity fulcrum slightly inward or outward to get the desired span. To learn more about maintenance and repair of the Gen 3, watch our next video on that topic. To speak with an expert about your liquid level control challenges, contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor.